Red Burgunder is the king of the red wines. It's a, for me the, the red Riesling that brings the finesse, the elegance, that beautifully shows uh, the soil, our, our limestone rock soils uh, in the wine. And it's, it's a wine with this beautiful kick in the end that wants me to drink more and more which is for me very, very important because I'm not a wine taster, I'm a wine drinker. We have um, Pinot Noir uh, in two sides, the Dalsheimer Bürgel and Niederflörsheimer Frauenberg. Dalsheimer Bürgel is a um, slightly southern facing uh, vineyard. It's um, a muscle shock on, on, on clay soil uh, that brings um, very elegant and, and focused wines with, with nice body. Um, this site uh, ripens around two to three weeks earlier than the Frauenberg vineyard. Um, that means in the Bürgel we have normally a vegetation period so from, from a flowering to harvest of around 120 days, which is already really good. Uh, in, the, in the Frauenberg, um, it can be much longer. Uh, Frauenberg um, is a very special vineyard because it doesn't allow you each year, due to the climatic uh, conditions, um, to make great Pinot Noir. It, it, can, it can occur that it is too cold, but uh, when, when we have a good year, and a good year for Frauenberg is always a little bit warmer year, as Frauenberg really profits from the climatic changes in the last, the last years. Uh, Frauenberg um, has this, this unique uh, um, yeah, combination of, of deep minerality, purity uh, and transparency that, uh, yeah, that makes it perhaps really unique for Pinot Noir in, in Germany. It's, only Selection Marsal wines planted at the Frauenberg, so you have a, 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 yeah, a very unique Pinot growing there. You know, what, what, what is important? Um, each vineyard, each great site has its own smell. So you, you walk through the vineyard, you touch the weeds, you touch the grass, and you really. Uh, each, each, wine, each vineyard reminds me of something and when I walk in it, uh, there comes this special flavor again. Um, before I went to France, I was uh, also um, in South Africa and it was a completely different uh, a picture. Here people trusted, or there people trusted much more in, in winemaking techniques. And in Burgundy, it was a completely different thing. So winemaking, was not that important at that time. The wines um, were distemmed or not distemmed. That depended on the philosophy of the winemakers. Then it came into a big old wooden uh, uh, wets and, and started, started to ferment. Some controlled the fermentation temperature. Others said, um, let the wine make uh, as he wants. Uh, but what I really learned in Burgundy is that you have to trust your grapes and to trust your soils. And when you are not really convinced uh, um, by, your, by your soils uh, uh, and by the work you, you, you invest in the, in the vineyard, um, you, you will make a completely different wine, which is much more artificial and much more um, yeah, made than, than uh, it, in my opinion, uh, should be. I think if you really have um, good sites, um, old wines, uh, and a winemaker who has a, a, a sense uh, and, a, and, and a feeling uh, for Pinot Noir, uh, one, one, should not, one should not try to, to, destroy, uh, to destroy the beautiful Pinot fruit by the, use, uh, by the overlay uh, use of, of new wood. New wood, new wood for me um, is a thing that can destroy uh, a lot. I always like to, to compare it to, to a beautiful woman. 
uh, a beautiful woman. Uh, you, you don't. Um, uh, yeah, she is not beautiful because she has to stand for two two hours in the bathroom putting cosmetics uh, everywhere in her face. Uh, she is beautiful when she uh, when she uh, uh, wakes in the morning uh, uh, beside me, and uh, I like her just as she is, and that's as I want my my wines to be. They shall be pure. Um, the soil uh, and um, and the work we invest in the vineyard shall shine in the wines, uh, but uh, not the new oak we use. I love the, the small climat, as they say in, in Burgundy, the differences from parcel to parcel. You walk 10, 10 meters further and there is a completely different soil, a completely different uh, uh, taste of the wine. Um, we don't have um, 500 barrels of Pinot Noir, we have 4 barrels of this, 7 barrels of this, that, 11 barrels of that. That makes the marketing and the availability of the wines much more uh, uh, difficult. But for me as a winemaker, it's the biggest gift if you, if you see uh, uh, your soil shining in the wine. And uh, I couldn't make those big cuvées and blending one vineyard with the other vineyard uh, because um, I, I have big respect uh, in front of the nature. And for me always, uh, Nature is a boss, and when nature doesn't want, uh, we can, we we yeah, we can anything um, do to to improve it. <laughs>